Marco. Your comment, it was really sweet. I really appreciate that. Like, you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to take the time to try to, to point that out. And look, I know you, you might not be vegan, but that's not the point. The point is that you're, you're decent. Like, you're a decent human being who listens and watches. I would love it if I could get to know you a bit better. I don't know if you're a 10 year old kid or 80. If you would like film yourself and hold up a sign in a duet maybe, just hold up a sign and say, I am decent because. And just let me know. Anyways, I just really wanted to touch base with you and let you know that I really appreciated it. Thank you. Sure, sure, I can be respectful of your differences. As soon as you stop paying for the murder of innocent victims, I'll be respectful of your preferences. Hey guys, today's lesson, be really careful not to believe every single thing that you read. Okay, somehow this person got the idea that I have more than one pet. Any of my regular followers know that I have one dog that lives with me. Her name is Bella. Today, I filmed a cat, a black cat, outside while on a walk. That was not my cat, so don't assume anything. Always check, just ask. Second point today. I checked with Bella to see if she wanted to eat dog food, you know, dog food that you buy from the store that's full of dead body parts. She said no, but I really wanted to make sure. So I brought a cow into the backyard, a chicken, and I brought a, a pig, and I put them there, and I also put the vegan dog food, and you know what? She just played with the animals, and she just ate the vegan dog food. So to me, that's the answer I got. Really? Really? Okay, think about it for a second and just think, does it make sense? Now replace the word cat with human. Okay, think about that. What if somebody told you that black humans are bad luck? Would you believe them? Listen, kids, you need to start thinking for yourselves, okay? Do not believe things that other people tell you. Even adults are wrong often. You know, there's adults in society who are quite prejudiced. They don't know, okay? Use your own head. And if you think you know something, check the facts again. And then check them again. And after that, just one more time. Always ask yourself, is it true? And is it really true? Yeah, the comment section can be really rough, eh? You know what I do? I just ignore it. I just think to myself, the people that are there probably have bad lives. Who knows? Maybe they were mistreated. Maybe somebody at home is yelling at them. We don't know what's going on. Um, when I'm going through traffic and somebody cuts me off, I always assume like the best. I think, okay, they don't want to do it on purpose. They're probably rushing to the hospital. Maybe somebody's sick in the back seat, whatever. You know, we just don't know. Everybody's fighting a battle that we know nothing about. So that's how I look at that. And uh, I hope you do too. And the reasons that I'm vegan is because I, I just, you know, I couldn't hurt animals anymore. I couldn't keep paying people to kill them for me. I, I watched all the documentaries. I went to a website called egg-truth.com. And um, that's it. I had to be vegan. Hi, so I don't usually talk a lot about myself personally, but I worked as a registered nurse for 25 years and then I went back to university to become a school teacher and at the time of this video now I've been working as a school teacher for eight or nine years, I forget now. So that's what I do. I am 55 years old at the time of this video and today is my four year vegan anniversary. I have been vegan exactly four years. I became vegan on June 27th, 
in 2016. So I'm feeling good. I am so happy about the decision and I hope that you become vegan too. It is really awesome. It feels so good to not be a hypocrite and to help so many animals.